diversity in the living world. About 5 million species have been estimated to be present on Earth and 1.7 million species are known and described. Every year, several new species are discovered and added to the list. A huge variety of life forms are found in the mountains, deserts, freshwater bodies, water springs, sea and so on. This refers to biodiversity. For a convenient study of all organisms are classified into groups. Often, the local names of organisms around us vary from one place to another and from one language to the other language. So, there was a need for a standard method of naming the organisms. A system called binomial nomenclature, which is a system of providing names with two components, was introduced by Carolus Linnaeus. Till today, this system is used by biologists all over the world. According to this system, each name has two parts. The first one is the generic name and the second is the species name. This system made it easier for the scientists throughout the world to communicate with each other using the same name. Example, Mangifera indica, mango, Homo sapiens, man. In the above example, Mangifera and Homo are the generic names and indica and sapiens are the specific epithets. The International Code for Botanical Nomenclature, ICBN, set up some rules for naming all plants and zoological names are based on the rules formulated by International Code for Zoological Nomenclature, ICZN. Each organism has only one scientific name and each name refers to only one organism. This is of great advantage because it allows specificity. For example, Phyllis domesticus is domestic cat. Most people would think differently about a cat as there are big differences between a house cat and a lion. The scientific name of a lion is Panthera leo and a cat is Phyllis domesticus. A house cat and a lion both belong to the family Philidae. This will indicate that the house cat and the lion are relatives. So this method of naming organisms causes less error in communication regarding the studies on any organism because the name is unique to it and same all over the world. Universal Rules of Nomenclature Biological names are generally in Latin and written in italics. They are Latinized or derived from Latin irrespective of their origin. Different languages are spoken by people in different countries. Common names of plants and animals differ from country to country and even by region within a country. Latin is a dead language due to which Linnaeus and other scientists used it for naming the organisms. No nation uses it as an official language. Therefore, with the passage of time, it will not change in form or spelling. Hence, having a Latin name avoids confusion among scientists. Second, the first word in the biological name represents the genus, while the second word denotes the specific ep. Three, when handwritten, both the words in a biological name are separately underlined. When both the words are printed, they are printed in italics. The reason for printing in italics is to indicate that the words are not English but they are Latin. 4. First letter of the genus starts with a capital letter while the specific epithet starts with a small letter. Basically, all genus are proper nouns and thus the first letter is capitalized, for example, of Mangifera indica. 5. Name of the author appears after the specific epithet, that is, at the end of the biological name and is written in an abbreviated form, example, Mangifera indica lin. 
The biological name Mangifera indica was first described by Linnaeus, hence Lin is written in an abbreviated form after the biological name. It is nearly impossible to study all the living organisms on earth. It is necessary to classify them. Biological classification is a scientific procedure that involves the arrangement of the organism in a hierarchical series of groups and subgroups on the basis of their similarities and dissimilarities. Classification plays an important role for the scientists to identify the organisms, group and study about their behavior. It helps them to understand the organisms better and the diversity of life in plants and animals. Classification helps in knowing the relationship between the different groups of organisms. Scientific classification system is referred to as taxonomy. Taxonomy is the science of naming, describing and classifying organisms and includes all plants, animals and microorganisms of the world. Everything in science is classified into a number of different categories. Organisms are grouped together into taxa, singular taxon, and these taxa are given a taxonomic rank. These taxonomic rank are aggregated to form a supergroup of higher rank, thus forming a taxonomic hierarchy. However, there is some confusion in the use of taxon and category. Bryophyta is a taxon while division is a category. Similarly, Zia maize is a taxon while species is a category. The category represents an abstract term while taxon represents the real organism. The principal ranks category in modern use are kingdom, phylum, division is sometimes used in botany in place of phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. The Swedish botanist Carolus Linnaeus is the founder of the current system of taxonomy. He developed a system called the Linnaean taxonomy for categorizing organisms and binomial nomenclature for naming organisms. There are about 1.4 million of the known species including all plants, animals and microorganisms. To study a vast diversity of organisms, they need to be organized into groups. Since a long time, man was interested in knowing more about various kinds of life forms and the relationships among them. This branch of study is known as systematics. Linnaeus used the word systematics in the system of classification in his book Systema Naturae which was published in 1735. Systematics is a study of diversity of organisms including past and present and relationships among living things. Please share this video with your friends. Leave your comments below and please subscribe to my channel for more content. Click that bell notification that would let you know when a new video is uploaded. Thank you so much for watching.